leader of a liberal mosque in Berlin has been placed under 24-hour protection after receiving hundreds of death threats from Muslims. Unlike in traditional mosques, this one, which was only open less than a month ago, caters to Muslims of all confessions as well as the gay community. Men and women are supposed to pray side by side, which is normally forbidden, and visitors are banned from wearing any full-body garments like burqas indoors. And we spoke to the founder about the current situation. I expected such a reaction. I expected that not everyone would like it. In general, of course, I knew that men wouldn't give up on patriarchy so easily, because these are the patriarchic structures that we're attacking. At the moment, I've only got threats, because I'm a theorist and, so to speak, the heart of the movement. But this is a movement, and people should know that. We got reaction from Mohammed Shafiq of the Ramadan Foundation. 1,400 years of Islamic history tell us that it's the man, uh, an imam, who leads to prayer has to be male. In the same way, the Roman Catholic Church suggests that the Pope, the head of the Church of, uh, of Rome, has to be a man. Women are absolutely essential part of being involved in the mosque. But the main prayers have to be led by a man, and any attempt to change that is distorting 1,400 years of Islamic history, and we reject that. Islam is relevant 1,400 years ago. It's relevant in the 21st century, and it'll be relevant until the end of times. Uh, you have to adapt uh, to modern settings. I accept that, but you cannot change the principles of our faith. Um, and I think any attempt you know, to use this, uh, you know, the liberal elite in our societies who want to demonize Islam, they want to demonize and create division, are not going to succeed 